There are different aspects to the way that we design apps. There's the structure of our app's data. There's the layout of this data in screens and navigation. There's the actions users can perform within the app, but there's also the types of users that our apps are made for. When we design for different types of users, our app can look and behave very differently depending on who's logged in. The best way to manage and think about different types of users is through user profiles. We're going to cover whether or not you need user profiles, the basics of what you can do with user profiles, how to set them up, and three basic examples of ways to use user profiles. Not all apps actually require user profiles. An app like a simple city guide that lists information probably doesn't need it. If we only want people to read the information in our app, and we want all users to read the same information, then we can simply make our app public and be done with it. But if we think about more complex apps, the apps that we use every day, many of these are inextricably tied to our data. These apps show very different things depending on who's logged into them. When we have user profiles enabled in our app, depending on who's logged in, our app can hide or show different items, hide or show components, enable or disable editing rights, and can even display the current user's profile data within the app. The best way to manage users and their attributes is through a user profiles sheet. With the user profiles sheet, we can add many different attributes or properties for our users, which will then allow us to set different conditions. For example, if the user's access level is admin, then allow them to edit and delete items. If the user's score is higher than 10, unlock these items. And if the user's category is in the blue team, then show this image. Glide needs to know the user's email for user profiles to work, so we need to make sure our app uses a sign-in method that enables this. This could be public with email, email whitelist, or alternatively your app could be an internal organization app. To enable user profiles, open the app menu in Glide, click sign in, and choose a user profiles sheet. The three most basic attributes of a user are their name, email, and photo, so a user profile sheet should contain at least these three. From there, we can add as many columns as we like to define the attributes of our users. For example, if we were making an app for students at school, we might want to have columns for their surname, class, year group, tutor, etc. Once we've set up our sheet, we can select it in the dropdown and connect the name, email, and image to their respective columns. When we've done this, the user profiles sheet will be active, and the signed in user will see their details in the app menu. You can do many things with user profiles, but let's look at three simple examples. The first is using the logged in user's profile data to create a custom welcome message. To do this, we need to create a template column and write our custom message. We'll then replace some of the text with columns from the user profiles sheet. Now, when a user logs in, that message will be specific to them. We could also use a column in the user profiles sheet to determine whether someone has editing rights or not. In this column, users are either administrators or readers. We can add an edit condition which says only enable editing if the current user's admin column contains administrator. Now, if someone's logged in as a reader, they won't be able to edit items, but if they're logged in as an administrator, then they will. Let's say we have an app that is used by three different teams, and we only want to show each team their own items. Red team will see the red items, blue team, the blue items, and the pink team, the pink items. The team of each user is specified in our user profiles sheet, so we can use this column in a filter on our main list of all items. Here we've created a filter which only shows rows where the logged in user's team matches the team in the team's column. So that's three quick examples of the ways that you can use user profiles. There are many other things that you can do with this, but for now, that's an overview of user profiles in Glide.